everyone. <clears throat> My name is Haiyu Zhang and I am a concert pianist. Today I'm here with you to briefly talk about Chopin's Nocturne in E flight major, opus 9, which I have just posted to celebrate the World Piano Day not long time ago. And this composition is one of the um, most known uh, pieces by Chopin, or generally in the uh, romantic um, piano repertoire. We have thousands of different recordings from the modern times, also the historical ones, and um, and all, I'm very sure that also many um, kids are playing piano, or amateur pianists are trying uh, this wonderful music by any time. So today I'm here to share with you kind of my couple of my personal um, opinion about the uh, the important um, facts, how to exercise and also uh, think about this um, beautiful composition. So <clears throat> as you know, that Chopin has always put a lot of value on the left hand. Um, now I'm talking about. Um, uh, for example, this Nocturne is a very good example, and also in his Piano Sonata, Opus 35, the uh, famous funeral marks the uh, middle part. First scherzo, opus 20. absolute mental control at the left hand that you know exactly where it goes um, this is a very focused and very concentrated um, movement controlling that you know exactly where it moves without any any unnecessary and sudden move and uh, even without any direct visual contact so you know exactly even by close but eyes closed to exact what, what the harmony is and where it goes. So what I personally think is very important to always keep the hands on the key without um, any unnecessary um, movement or with any kind of uh, unnecessary surprise. And this is exactly the same thing on this Nocturne. As you can, you can hear it, Chopin already um, phrased a beautiful and the perfect um, harmony and the interval movement, just only uh, it by itself. And it's quite important to have the correct movement. The left hand, the first move, and where exactly it goes, and land here. It's a drop and then land. Like a it's almost like a circulation by itself. So um, all those kind of natural slur are produced like this way that you just know exactly where it should be. And uh, the second thing is about the timing. How do we start the piece? For myself, I always um, imagine this nocturne as a storytelling, as a wonderful story to share and to talk about. And before we started to share those kind of stories, 
I think we need to have us uh, emotionally and mentally very well prepared to get the concentration in the in the very um, in the very um, in the very focused state, and then to make the move um, to be in touch, in connection with our instrument and the music texture. So the question is, how much and how long do we wait until uh, the first note comes up? Absolute pianissimo with a little secret feeling at the beginning. The second type is different. Thing about the phrase, how do we phrase? Sometimes we phrase it with a two notes group and a three notes group, and sometimes even a longer. Um, this is always very much dependent on our fantasies and then also your personal, your personal taste and imagination. As a piano, it's a percussive instrument. Uh, sometimes I try to imitate the, uh, the style of the string players. Sometimes how to hold a long note. So sometimes it's not enough just only to make it by finger. We need also a little bit of weight of the uh, of the arm it goes through the arm down to the wrist and to the finger. You know? For example, this is a natural move. Kind of refine is that as we always used to shape the note by the Mozart, those kind of decorative smoke, we exactly need the same here. changing has sometimes a little bit of surreality and also sometimes a little bit of the air but so every time it's quite different and the, another question of the technical technical um, uh, writer how to change sound color without losing too much time <laughs> Taking too much time to read. So always get the hand prepared in advance. Already there. And then with the wrist a little weight. And you always uh, get this uh, organic then the flow to have the music natural, naturally keep moving. So this is exactly what I was talking about today. Um, I think important thing is the absolute control that by the lifetime they know exactly you. The lifetime knows exactly when and where and how it goes combined with the right hand. Give the support to the right hand. And for the right hand, and uh, we, we need sometimes a good finger playing, but sometimes we still waste, uh, we still the raise or even the arm a weight to, to be supportive a little bit. And the timing, the timing is also uh, the thing, the key to the uh, uh, 
for the atmosphere that we would like to approach. When to wait a little bit on this and that, and then uh, in the end, what's important is also the pattern. Sometimes we change half of it, and sometimes we change uh, the third of it, and a quarter. It has never a fixed model uh, that we need to uh, adjust ourselves uh, from each part to, to the other, and that's why this music is very lively and um, wonderful. Thank you very much for listening, and um, so next time we would like to share another composition, and then see you next time.